Hey guys, and welcome to another Art Addicts Alliance video. This is for the month of October, and the themes that were chosen were spooky and mini. If you're unfamiliar with the Art Addicts Alliance, we are a group of YouTube artists who create videos based off of themes every single month, and the themes are chosen by you guys. So the link to vote for next month's theme will be down in the description below, along with links to all of the other members in the Alliance, and a link to join our Discord page where you can chat with other members of the YouTube art community. We also have a new permanent member, which is Jude's Art Desk, who featured last month. And so make sure to go check out their video and give them a warm welcome into the Alliance. So I went with the theme of mini, although to a point it does kind of also fit spooky a little bit as well. Um, because I had these mini canvases just sort of lying around. I wanted to make use of them. Um, so I ended up doing this on a 4x4 four four canvas. I did have 2x2, two two, which I realized would have been maybe a little bit more mini. 4x4 four four to me isn't that that small, but there was a certain level of detail I did kind of want to get, and I knew it would be a little easier on the slightly larger one, and, you know, so that's what I did. <laughs> Um, and I'm using gouache, um, which for the most part actually does work pretty well on these canvases. Um, I don't know if it's what they coat them with, but for whatever reason, whenever you get closer to the edge, the paint does start to bead. I'm okay with that because it adds a little texture to the whole thing, but it can be really annoying, especially whenever I was doing the blue background, which was a bit of footage that ended up getting cut. Um, but yeah, that can be a little annoying, but overall it does cover. I don't know if it would be that way on all canvases, but just on these mini ones that I get from Michaels, um, it beads around the edges. Um, but yeah, so whenever I started this, I didn't really have a plan going in. You can even see in the beginning, I started to draw out a duck and then I changed it to being a rabbit so I kind of knew I wanted to be a little bit looser with this and just sort of do whatever I had an idea in my mind but not anything super concrete so I was before I started drawing I was between doing these sort of metal inspired um paintings I had done in the past or doing another one of my sort of creepy cute animals and what ended up resulting was like a cross between the two. So I wanted to do like a creepy cute animal, but I wanted it to kind of be in the uh, sort of black metal getup and the <laughs> and having like lighter and stuff, um, which if you know anything about black metal, you know what that means. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's it was a pretty simple, pretty straightforward um, process. If there was like one thing that I kind of wish was a little different about it was um, the color palette a little bit because I wanted something that really like I wanted almost like a pastel goth type of situation where like of course like it looks very dark like the imagery looks very dark but then you've got these really like pastel pretty pinks and purples and stuff and the colors that I have, because I have like a very limited color palette that I work with whenever I work with gouache. And so it might have been the colors I had, might have been how I was mixing them, either one. But um, I didn't quite end up with that, especially at the end. Um, and I also struggled a little bit with the contrast. Like I think actually the final uh, product has good contrast. But like I said, I wanted to be sort of pastel-y originally, and that can be kind of hard because um, in the past, a lot of my work didn't have a lot of contrast, and since then, I have, like, taught myself, I guess, to have better contrast in my work, and so then I get kind of, like, I kind of, um, it's a little bit harder for me to actually go for something that would be lower contrast and still make it look good. Does that make sense?
Thank you.